For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to find anything that says Valorant down here, and then you want to click on it and then click on End Task. Once you do that, we're going to head over to the Details tab, and then you want to do the same thing. So we're going to scroll down until we find Riot Games. We want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. For the next step, we're going to head over to Search and type in Services. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on any service and click on V on our keyboard. Then we want to look for VGC. I don't have it because I haven't got Valorant installed on this computer, but you're going to have something called VGC. Once you find it, you want to right click on it, click on properties, and then change the startup type to automatic, and then click on start. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator, and then click on yes. Once you're on it, we're going to type in NETSH space WinSock space reset, and click on enter. Once you do this, don't restart your computer yet. You want to head over to the description below and then you want to paste all of the other commands which will be there. Then once you do all of that, we're going to move on to the next step. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on services and then we're going to tick hide all Microsoft services. Then you want to scroll down to the very bottom and look for VGC again. Then you want to make sure that it's ticked and then click on OK. And then click on exit without restart. Now you want to see if Valorant is working or not, but if it's not working, then we're going to head over to search and type in add or remove programs, click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom, and then you want to uninstall Valorant and then reinstall it again. The way to uninstall it is by clicking on the three dots, click on uninstall, and then uninstall it, and then just re-download it. Before you do this step though, you could also try to restart your computer, and then see if it works. 